Hello and welcome to Five News. I'm Sean Williams. Fans have called it a disgrace. Football's authorities say it's a cynical plan fueled by greed. Even current players are speaking out. But in the face of a huge backlash, six of England's biggest clubs are vowing to join a new European Super League. The proposals have led to threats of serious punishment. This afternoon, UEFA said players who take part would be banned from international tournaments like the World Cup. And the Prime Minister has also vowed to take action. Catherine Jacob now reports on the breakaway that's rocked football. New figures seen by Five News have revealed how paedophiles have exploited coronavirus lockdowns to force children into filming and photographing themselves online. Charities say the pandemic has created a perfect storm that's allowed predators to manipulate their victims. Some are as young as three years old. Just a warning, this exclusive report from Julian Drucker contains details which you might find distressing. Coming up on Five News, the royal family will see you after the break. The Scottish Conservatives have launched their manifesto for next month's Holyrood elections, pledging to rebuild Scotland and stop another independence referendum. Their leader, Douglas Ross, says they're the only party willing to challenge the SNP. And he told Fives Alan Jenkins he wasn't concerned about low popularity ratings. And finally, if ever you need inspiration, you can always do worse than looking at NASA and their exploits tens of millions of miles from the Earth. Today, the organisation that knows no bounds broke new ground, successfully flying a small helicopter on Mars. It is the first ever powered, controlled flight by an aircraft on another world. Jay Akbar, watch the incredible achievement. Again tomorrow at five. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.